trying out some new equipment. I've got the new Nocta Macro Pulse Dive. First time out with it. Got a new kayak. It's a tandem seat kayak, but it's got a position to move one of the seats to the middle. I've only brought one seat with me today. It is actually the second time I've had the kayak out. I like it. But I want to hit some popular places as we float down the river and see what I can find. I'm also equipped to clean up the river. Uh, I can haul a little bit of stuff out, so I'm going to try to haul some, as much uh, trash out of the river as I can. I've got a couple things along the way that I found while waiting that I couldn't take back to the truck. I'll pick that up along the way. And this promises to be a fun day. <laughs> So we had to make an early end to our little adventure. We came in, it felt pretty good for a while, and then it started to lightning and thunder. It got close, we ended up having to get on the bank. We waited out a while in the woods. A few different waves of storm came through, and we decided just to come on back to the truck and head home. But I can show you what I found before we decided to come home. Here it is. So of course, I picked up some trash. Um, I didn't make a big day of cleaning the river out of it, but when I did stop to snorkel, I did pick up trash. I even, I even picked up one of the conservation department bags meant for hauling trash off the water, not meant to become part of the trash, but it happens. You're not going to hit the water around here without finding a bunch of these. A week earlier, I was on the water and in an area that the bank had been washing out pretty bad. I had found a couple huge pieces of lead. 
Uh, I was waiting that day. I was not able to carry them back down to the truck. So having my kayak available, I decided to stop and pick them up. I had stashed them in a spot where I could find them later. I weighed them a while ago. They weigh a total of 18 pounds. Making my own dive weights out of these. I've got some other lead saved up to go with it, if that's not enough. I found a nice pair of Foster Grant sunglasses. They're in really good shape. I've tried finding these online to see what they are valued at. Um, I haven't been able to find them. Uh, this is one of two vape pens I found. I've lost one along the way. Don't know what happened to it. Probably lost it in the storm. A little painted rock I found while I was snorkeling around. I might have a use for this in future videos. Pay attention. If you keep watching, we'll see. So I'm pleased with the function of my new metal detector. The Nocta Macro Pulse Dive. It goes a lot deeper than my AT Pro goes. It's short handled. I can carry it on a kayak a lot easier to the important swimming holes that I like to search in. And my first time out with it, within 15 minutes, I found enough stuff that theoretically I could pay for this machine with it. My first find was a dime, then a quarter, then a bottle cap. Of course, you're going to find the bottle caps everywhere. But then, I found this. This is marked 925, so it is sterling silver. It looks like diamonds in there, but they're not. I tested them with my diamond tester. They are not diamonds. I don't know if they're cubic zirconia. I would have to have someone else look at them to tell me what they are. And then was the 14 karat gold wedding band. Very, very excited when I found this couple items here that belong to somebody that I'm sure would like to have them back. This necklace and this wedding band are probably irreplaceable to someone. So if this belongs to you or you know someone it may belong to, have them contact me in the comments below or in a link in the description box. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe.